Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the dead live again. That's right. The dead live again. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, somewhere in the area that we call the Congo today, there lived a young man who wanted nothing more than to be a scribe. From the youngest of ages, he would watch the scribes of his town working their craft and he would mimic them by using a stick to scratch marks into the ground. Sadly, no one in the young man's family could write and it was a difficult thing to become an official student of the scribes. So, there was no one to teach him the craft. The family of the young man were farmers and when they would be toiling in the fields, the young man would be practicing until he finally taught himself to write. He was excited, but his family was not. They called him lazy and said he should be working in the fields and they hated him for his writing. They began to treat him badly and he continued to spend his time writing until one day his family lashed out on him and banished him from the land. The young man, hurt by the betrayal, gathered his things and left. He wandered the land until he found a place to rest and he made a camp inside of a cave. After several days, some men from another land were out hunting and they found him. These men were peaceful and they only asked what he was doing living in the cave alone. The young man told them his story. Intrigued, the hunters asked to see his writings. As they read, their eyes grew wide. They began talking to each other in a language the young man did not know. Then they turned to him with awestruck expressions. Where did you get these stories from? They asked, all trembling and shaking. Confused, the young man said that the stories came from his mind, from his imagination. The hunters then told him that there was more going on. In some of the stories they had read, the stories were about their ancestors from the past, and they wondered how he could know their stories. After consulting the wise men that the hunters knew, it was confirmed that the young man had some connection to the realm of the ancestors, and it was the ancestors who was using the young man to get their stories told. The fame of the young man spread far and wide, and many came from distant lands to be told of their ancestors and the deeds they accomplished. And this inspired those who read the stories to do great things in their own lives. And everyone said that indeed the dead live again. And so the morning motivation of today is the dead live again. In life, for whatever reason, the universe is situated in such a way that you may get hated in one place for something that you will be praised for somewhere else. So, never make the mistake of judging yourself based off the opinion of others. The people that do not understand are not required to understand in order for you to succeed. You have to remember, family, that you chose to come to earth for a reason, a reason that only you truly know. You must search out your heart and follow the desires within, as long as the desires within are righteous and good. And if you continue to persevere and do that which is good, you will indeed succeed. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.